All right, welcome back. Well, we are joined by the lady herself. Norm Klein Konyeni is our guest here on Morning Live, a very, very well-known actress here, uh, coming and hailing from the Eastern Cape, living here as well. It is such a pleasure to have you on Morning Live. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you. We, we, we show this insert on, on your life and, and being an actress here in the area. What was it like for you? Well, quite tough, but we survived. We survived the times. It was quite tough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when, you, when, you, when you say it was quite tough, I mean, take us back to those days where, um, you know, it was, it, it was difficult and almost impossible to succeed. Yeah, it was. And uh, the persecution that we got from the special branch, we couldn't operate like openly with the likes of Arthur Hugard. Um, we were chased around by them. And uh, if there is anything we were doing, we had to go through them, which we did not do. We avoided doing that. Like they wanted to see the scripts that we were doing, read the scripts that we were doing. We did quite a lot of classical work as serpent players with Arthur Fugard. They did not allow Arthur Fugard to come into the township and we were not allowed to go into town. I remember there was a curfew in Port Elizabeth. We had to be out of town at nine o'clock. So we had to rush. As a result, we wrote a play about that situation. Yeah. 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 Amazing. I mean, when you look back to those years, and then obviously you look, you look to where we are right now. I mean, uh, taking a look at how things have evolved. I mean, let's let's just let's just talk about the area perhaps we're broadcasting from and Port Elizabeth. I mean, have you seen major changes, obviously, within the area and and the surrounding areas? I wouldn't say much changes. Um, no, no. I wouldn't say much changes. There are no changes as such in terms of uh, my work, in terms of uh, the industry I am in. I'm still struggling to survive as an actress here and now. That's, uh, it, it's, it's a, that's a hard pill to swallow, isn't it? I mean, when you've come so far, you've been in the industry for so long, and yet it's still a struggle every single day. Is it that the work opportunities are not here? Or what do you think is standing in the way? Work opportunities, no funding. Nobody cares about the arts, per se. Yeah. Do you think it's perhaps where you're located? Do you think that perhaps the arts maybe are funded in specific areas in South Africa, oh, yes. but the smaller areas just get ignored? Oh, yes. I, and I don't think our province cares much about us. The only thing they, they care about is for us to come and entertain them. That's all it is to them. I mean, and you, you know, we, we did a broadcast this, um, it was the beginning of this week in Grahamstown. And I mean, Grahamstown is one of those areas where you have the Grahamstown Festival celebrating artists and actors from all over the country coming there. And you'd think that that's a stepping stone to greater things. But what we're hearing, that's not the case. No, it is not. And uh, after the festival, you should go back to Grahamstown. It's like bah, dead, dead, dead. Nothing is happening. Yeah. I mean, if you had to name some of the greats that have come from the Eastern Cape, I mean, we talk about um, these amazing actors, musicians that have gone on to great things from here and all against the odds of what you're explaining. Who stands out for you? Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there's Njona, there's Ghani. Oh, so many. So many, but some of them are gone now. Yeah. Most actually are gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what message do you have? Because, I mean, it, it's difficult to listen to you looking at such a stalwart in the industry, feeling so negative about it. But what would you like to see changing? How do we change this industry so that the next generation have it easier than you? Oh, that's a difficult one, Leanne. I would love to see job opportunities for actors, for performing artists to be opened to us, yeah. facilities opened to us. We have been promised that Mendy Bottle Store will be converted into an art center. 
it's been years now. Yeah. They're yeah. only building it now, and we don't know when it's going to be ready. There are no facilities here. As a result, <laughs> what I did in my house was to steal um, part of the municipality space. I built a garage so that I'll be able to work with my young actors. It's amazing. I've done that. Changes, I am not sure if they're yeah. going to happen. I may hope and wish that there should be changes. I don't know when it will happen. Yeah. Well, the good news is, and I, and I say this on a closing note because I know that our time is up, the announcement from the SABC, 90% local content on radio and television. And this is going to empower production houses, local actors and actresses. How does it make you feel? I mean, from what I'm hearing from you, this is what this industry needs, opportunities. It does. I'm hoping, I am hoping that it's going to open opportunities for us. And uh, what I am afraid of is the content. Yeah. It's the content. Because what I'm looking at, what I see on television, the 90% is not at all happening because of the content. We're not telling our stories, we're not being honest. Unlike in the old days, we used to take the bull by the horn. Yeah. Now it's not happening, we're telling wishy-washy stories which don't educate us nor give us, you know, hopes, mm -hmm. if only we can get the writers together yeah. and they should also come to us. They should come to the community, get to know what is it that we want to convey to put across to the audiences. Well, that decision on the television platforms is from July, that's next month, so hopefully everything, what you're talking about, is going to do exactly that. So that's what's so important, and the SABC going out to the communities, getting these ideas, and I think you need to be a part of it. I really do from what I'm hearing. I thank you so much for your time, your effort, and the love that you're showing the community here. Nongklem Konyeni, well-known actress who uh, has that studio in her garage and teaching actors and actresses the skills of the trade.